Hi everybody. Right, so I thought I would do a video um, just in regards to spark plug gap um, as I'm doing my spark plugs. So I thought that would help you guys out a bit. Um, obviously a lot of you would know this, so sweet, um, but a lot of new people have no idea. So that's who this video is for. Uh, so now this is a spark plug. Um, our engines have four of them in it. Um, <laughs> Um, when you buy them, um, normally they come in a set of four. Sometimes you have to buy them individually. Um, I got this set from Rock Auto, which is a really low price but quality um, supplier. Um, so I'll pop the link in the description below for Rock Auto. Um, now I'm going to show you just um, one of them straight out of the box. Um, here's a guy here. Um, what you're going to need is just your gap tool, um, which is really basic kind of little contraption. It's like a coin, and um, it has millimeter measurements on the back, and then inches on the front. Um, it also has this little gap opener for um, obviously when gaps are way too small and you need to make them bigger, um, you kind of put it in there and, and um, pry it. Um, but I've figured actually all of these. Um, plugs that I have checked so far are actually too wide already so I'm having to reduce the gap um, I will show you now just um, what they have come straight out the box with okay, so I've just put this one straight out the box and put it on the measurement and you can see that pretty much it's sitting at one uh, millimeter which is far too big um, for the gap that I am needing to run um, which is around about 0 0.66, um, slightly modified, sitting at about stage 1 plus at the moment. Um, so that's where I'm going to need to go. So obviously I'm need to be needing to be down here, and it's way over here straight out the box. So I'm going to reduce that gap uh, so that it sits nicely uh, where I need it to. Um, yeah, right, so to reduce the gap obviously between... Um, the tip here and the electrode um, we will need to put some pressure on this end um, now lots of people do this different ways some people put them in a vise and hammer it down um, there's a lot of room for error there um, if you're quite rough you probably risk breaking the tip off um, or um, cracking the ceramic which will make the plug unusable um, what I'm going to do because of my constraints at, with time and I don't have a vice um, was just to push very gently on the tip um, and then keep checking on the measurement coin to see where I'm at. Uh, so I will do that now off camera and I'll come back and see how I've gone. Hey guys, uh, so I'm back and um, what you can see here is we're sitting um, a lot better now. Um, obviously the spark plug went straight out the box, was near that one. Uh, we are now sitting just under uh, 7, around about 0 0.667 at the moment. Uh, which is a way better place to be for these, for my vehicle. Um, it depends highly on your modifications, where you need to be sitting with your gap. Um, and I'll pop some information in the, in the description. Um, but yeah, that is a successful gap there, and um, I will continue to do the rest of the plugs. Thanks for watching.